if you're asking a question about where to start, you've already got stuff. And so part of the challenge will be finding out what you have and organizing it so that you can move it into action. There are several challenges as people look to understand patient experience data. First of all, it's a diverse and wide ranging set of things that you could look uh, and track. There are government mandated measures here in the US and in other countries. There are surveys around experience. There are vendors that um, many healthcare organizations contract with to do surveys of patient experience. Increasingly, there's uh, effort to look at patient reported outcomes. So outcomes around specific disease uh, conditions as well as general health. That's all coming in the U.S. CMS, our uh, Medicare system, is increasingly uh, moving towards demanding information, measurement on outcomes that only patients can report. So in addition to the experience data uh, that has been here in the U.S. for going on uh, almost 10 years since the original testing, how are patients experiencing their health care? there will be increasing um, information flows around patient outcomes of pain, function, quality of life. So that's just the numerical information. And then there's all the observational data, the uh, complaints that may be coming in, actual uh, observations on the part of staff and executives, and patient uh, family councils who may be participating. That's certainly a, a, an opportunity to get the voice of the patient. Uh, and then whatever other events there are in terms of asking patients about their experience, inviting patients in to design improved care systems. So the range of uh, patient experience data is only growing.